simulating external G-code in FreeCAD. Hello guys, today I'm gonna be talking about FreeCAD and FreeCAD is my favorite free open source CAD package which also contains some CAM features which means you can use it to work with CNC toolpaths and prepare them and simulate them. Uh, simulating is the thing I want to be talking about today. Uh, you might have noticed recently they had released version 1.0. It's been like 24 years of development, so we can be sure those guys are not rushing anything. But I'm really excited about the new version and the new features. The CAM features have been in FreeCAD for quite some time, but I think now it's a good opportunity to talk about them a little bit more in depth. Uh, as you can see on their wiki page, there is uh, also this kind of simulator that can simulate the toolpaths for you to make sure and verify everything is going to be cut correctly. But this simulator is working out of the box for the toolpaths that you create directly in the FreeCAD. But I have different use case. I work with other G-code generating software, different CAM software. I want to simulate that uh, G-code made from different software. And FreeCAD totally can do that. Let me show you how it's done, guys. So I have this Kirimoto CAM. It's like online uh, web-based uh, CAM and slicer. I have this... Uh, uh, this part here, it's not very uh, complex geometry. I'm just gonna hit slice, which is fun name for something that we do in CAM, because that's usually a word you use in uh, 3D printing. Here it's combined software, so I get they combined even the button, so they call it slice even for, uh, for the generating of CNC G-code. And you'll see that G-code is generating generated indeed and there is this thing i'm gonna be simulating the toolpaths in the free cat but i uh i think i should uh, say that the simulation can be done in the kirimoto as well so that's not something i'm gonna be talking about today i'm not gonna be talking about how to make the g code i'm not gonna be talking about how to use other tools this is just something that i do to demonstrate that you can simply <clears throat> use the g code generated from other software so i have generated this g code and you can see there is we're using one eighth of an inch and mills that's gonna be useful later in the process and now i'm just gonna go forward and i'm gonna download the g-code from the kirimoto and i'm gonna i'm gonna open it i have already done that before so never mind this is the g-code and now i want to get that into into the free cat so i'm gonna launch launch free cat and We'll see how it's done. Okay, this take a while. Okay, so first thing you might think it's the correct approach to do this is simply opening the G code in in the FreeCAD, and it's gonna for sure open the G code. But unfortunately, this is not way we should do things if we want to simulate the G code. So the process is different i need to close this again and start over so i'm closing it and what i actually need to do is create a new project and in the new project i'm gonna go to part and i'm gonna create a cube the reason behind this is that freecat needs to define stock material uh, that will be used in the CNC milling operation. You can just take uh, G-code and simulate it. You need the base material to cut from. And the only way to create that in FreeCAD, unfortunately, is that you create some part and it will then create the stock material for that part, even when the part is not something you want to be machining because you already have your G-code. So now 
I'm going to the cam workbench and this is where the interesting things are going to be happening. Here I click on the job, I create new job and as you see I need to select some model, some 3D object to create the job from. If I only have G code I can't go further because this is just something you need to let you go through this dialogue. So, and here you can see I uh, I'm in the process of creating new job and the logic be behind this is that we have this base object, base model, and we are gonna be cutting it from this stock material, which is obviously larger than uh, the object itself. Otherwise, it, there would be no use of cutting it. And I already know that my origin is located on top of the G code, so I uh, need to change those margins in here in a way that the uh, the stock material this big big thing is gonna be all around the all around my g code so i i i already have some idea how it looks so i'm gonna i'm gonna make it bigger i'm gonna go like for 30 millimeters maybe and a couple of millimeters here okay so i don't need it to be that tall Okay, so I hit OK and now I go back to the model and I can actually here in job I can hide the model but I want to show the stock. Okay, so this is the stock material and now what I do here in operations is I go to the cam menu and I go to supplemental commands and I, ch I choose custom operation. And this is the actual place where I can I can uh, copy paste my G code into. And one more thing you can notice here I'm using default tool for the CNC machining operation here and that means the tool is hard coded in this menu and there is no use for using the tool change G code line. Actually, if you leave this G code line in there, it's gonna cause you some problem and it's gonna make the simulator misbehave. So I need to remove this tool change line. It can only simulate one tool, pen, uh, one tool per operation. So if you have multiple operations with different tools, you can always create more custom operations through this cam. It's, it's kind of drawback of this approach but we're gonna be using it like this okay i'm gonna click on create the operation and i can hide the cube again now you can see the g code is within the margins of my stock material but if you feel like you can just click on the stock here and uh you can you can change uh, it to be smaller uh, or larger or whatever uh, you feel like if it doesn't fit so you can you can always like change it later and we can make it smaller here i guess let's see let's see from top not a big deal okay that sounds reasonable Now for the simulation itself. Now that we have uh, the tool toolpath and we have the job for it uh, properly set up in the FreeCAD, I can just press this cam simulator, which is gonna create uh, the simulation, and I can hit well, the play button, and it's gonna it's gonna cut everything for us because this is rather slow. I can stop it, and I can hit this other button which is called uh, run till the end without animation so it's gonna be much faster and it's gonna uh, allow us to see the end result and surely it does and one uh, first thing I noticed is 
there is still the tool paths visible which is kind of obstructing my view of the part so i can switch back here and just hide the operation and one thing i can already notice right now is when i compare it with uh, with my original part it seems to be uh, seems to be a bit uh, different you see this hole is smaller than the hole in here and that's simply because we are not using the correct size of the milling bit and i'm gonna fix that right now uh, by the way when you're still in this uh in this simulation window you have two options one is to click cancel that's just you're done simulating everything everything is fine or you can click ok in case you click ok you will be left with this actual object that represents the uh, the product of the cutting and that can be uh, that can be useful in many different ways for example when you are continuing with the other operation you can use this as a stock material so you don't have to like recut again uh, in the air perhaps or you can uh, even export it uh, to stl file the stl file to be honest is rather messy it's uh, very uh, like lots of tiny you, you can see lots of tiny blocks uh, that are produced by the simulation i i've tried to put it in like 3d printer slicer to see if i can like 3d print this like simulated part it's not gonna work you will have to like clean the mesh up using some other software i'm not sure how to do that in freecad i'm i'm pretty sure it can be done in like a mesh lab or some other like mesh uh, mesh software if you want to work with that or in my case i can like simply delete this because i don't uh, i don't need uh, that mesh for anything and now we are gonna change the milling bit as you as you can see when i go to operations and click custom here is this default tool and <clears throat> we, we're gonna see where this default tool is defined so you go here to cam and you click on toolbit dock and this ui is a bit weird in my opinion uh, the way it works is that you have this edit button li library editor you click on on the library editor and now you can just close the library editor and it's gonna save it in here and you have all those uh bits predefined bits imported in your in your project but not really to be honest you you have opened this library in the freecad but they're not linked with uh, your job yet so if you want to use them in in this job you need to select one of them for example one millimeter end mill and then you press this button at, oh you don't see it sorry uh you you can press this button add to job and suddenly here in the tools i can see the one millimeter end mill and now that i have added it uh, i can choose it here as a one millimeter end mill and sure enough when i click on it it's uh, gonna show up in simulation and by the way there are two ways to simulate in the freecad one is this simulation we did before and then there is this new simulator which is much faster but the ui is very different and that might be reason why people don't uh, uh, people kept the old simulator because this doesn't look like a free cat simulator at all it's like completely different ui and you might notice this bit is too big as i i told you before we are using uh, one eighth of an inch bit in the original g-code and that's not something that was even uh, offered in here so we will have to create our own bit for that and that's not too hard let me just close this okay we go back here to the uh, library editor and we click i believe add existing toolbit maybe maybe not uh, okay we go create toolbit and we choose end mill and 
Oh, and I'm, now I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save it as uh, 3175 and mail. Okay. So I've created this new end mail and I'm going to set the diameter to 3.175 millimeters, which is the one eighth of an inch, which is quite common size of milling bits. And the shank diameter, I'm going to set to the same thing. I'm going to go OK, close, and you see now I have this correct uh, milling bit in here and I can add it to job as well. And uh, as I showed you before, I can just switch the operation to use it and now when i run the simulator again hopefully it's gonna have correct correct size and it seems to actually do Yeah, that's much more like it. I think everything is correct sized now. So this is basically how you how you simulate everything in a, in a free cat. It's uh, and, and the fun part about uh, th th this is I think some very special feature of this uh, simulation approach is that here in the uh, in the tool bit uh tool bit editor you can like create all sorts of uh funny shaped end mills that's not really possible in some of the s more simple simulators so this is this is like killer feature of uh, uh at least as far as open source goes that you can in uh in freecad basically use any freecad uh, 3d model as the tool bit which is very useful when you when you have some like weird shape that's uh, not not like available in other uh, other simulators or even in this one you can just create a model and import it and use that for uh, for your simulation because maybe you you are making your own custom milling bits and using them for something very special you can totally use that in in this simulator and that's something i really like and in in the open source world it's it's a kind of new feature that they, they, they were some similar uh similar uh, approaches in some simulators i believe the camotics simulator used to have things like that but at least half of them miss features like this so this is very welcome and i think that's everything i wanted to show you today and let's not make this video any longer right so thank you for watching and i hope this is useful goodbye guys goodbye guys